What would you do if you could move things with your brain? Save the world, become a superhero, or just get a glass of water without getting up? Well, that day is not far away. Today, Neuralink released a new video. It shows a paralyzed man playing online chess. How is he controlling the cursor with his brain? He got one of Neuralink's brain chips this January. It is a brain chip company led by Elon Musk, Neuralink. And the core idea is quite impressive. Sending neuroelectrical activity to anything digital. It can be life-changing. You can then control almost anything from prosthetic arms to your Tesla cars. Imagine the power your thoughts would have. But there are many hurdles in the way. Our next report tells you if Musk's brain technology can indeed change the world. Um, Noland Arbor looked intently at his screen. He was playing a game of chess online. His brows furrowed. Soon, the cursor moved. Um, um, the only way Arbor made his move. But here's the catch. Arbor once had a diving accident and he's paralyzed below his shoulders. So he didn't use his hands to move the cursor. He did it with his brain. It's like mind control. But Arbor isn't a Jedi. He was just using a brain chip. It was made by Elon Musk's company, Neuralink. The device is about the size of five coins stacked together. It's inserted into the skull. Then the hardware will harbor electrodes. This will record neural activity and stimulate specific regions of the brain. What happens then? Well, you may be able to use your thoughts to control the world. Arbor was given the chip in January. He says the surgery was easy. Since then, he's tested it out many times. Once, he even played a video game for eight hours with the chip. Of course, Arbo says the technology is not perfect. There are some problems and minor glitches, but most of the time, it works. Wireless brain chips are not new. By the 2000s, monkeys were being trained on it. They were doing the same thing, moving cursors with their brains. But since then, the technology hasn't evolved much. Neuralink wants to refine that. The company aims to connect human brains to computers. That way, it can tackle neurological conditions. The idea is to supercharge human capabilities. Basically, control your devices with thoughts. Also, treat neurological disorders like Parkinson's. Of course, it all sounds like a science fiction movie. But for once, Elon Musk is behind the curve. Other such startups are already in the race. One company is called Synchron. It's backed by Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates. It has implanted its device in 10 patients. Researchers in Switzerland have also achieved miracles. They helped a paralyzed man walk. This was by implanting multiple devices. But for Musk, solving neurological conditions is only the first step. He wants to build a symbiotic relationship between humans and AI. Cyborg alert. Imagine searching the internet with your brain or ordering food with just your thoughts. The possibilities are immense and that's what Musk aims to explore. But many people remain skeptical. Scientists believe there are enormous barriers. First, practicality. Would you cut open your brain just to search the web with your thoughts? Second, adaptability. Everyone's brain is different, so it can't be a one-size-fits-all approach. And third, injuries. Many fear it could damage the blood vessels in the brain. So, while Neuralink is an ambitious venture, there are a lot of hurdles. This is where the line between science fiction and reality blurs. And while Musk may tout it, there's a long way to go before your thoughts can move the world.